Hi, welcome back to another episode of Knitting with Annie. I'm Annie Lupton of Boho Chic Fiber Co. And this is episode 13, I believe. And this week I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, a lot of people have been asking to see my studio space. And so I thought um, for the holidays, it'd be fun to do a little walk through and show you uh, my whole space. I have a downstairs studio in my house and that's where I get most of my work done and store my yarn and my knitting supplies. And so um, I'm gonna walk you through that today. And I know it's been a few weeks since I've been on here. I've been busy with school, kids in school and um, just life's gotten a little crazy. And so um, at the end of this, I'll chat a little bit about what's coming up ahead, my plans for next year and so forth. But um, I'll start here. This is our entryway to our house. That's our front door. And um, we have a split stair. One goes up to our home and one goes down to um, my studio space. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around and kind of walk you through. I'll try to hold it steady and um, show you my space and tell you about it. So let's flip it. Can I flip it? Oops, I can't flip it. Okay, well, I'll turn the phone around and um, hopefully we'll get a good enough view that way. Well, hang on one second, let me... No, I can't flip the screen. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just turn the phone around and hope that we can see well enough. So, let's start. This is my stocking wall where we, I hang my hand knit stockings. Um, we have another set that we hang somewhere else. These are just my um, boho embroidered stocking patterns, and that one's uh, my puppy stocking pattern. Um, so that's up there, and then, sorry, I'm just trying to think which way I held it before. Okay, so this over here is my uh, plant wall that leads down our stairs here to the basement. So this is our my basement studio space. I'll walk down the stairs. Um, first, I'll kind of turn around and show you those stairs. We have a really interesting kind of um, split staircase. You can kind of see it right there. The top goes upstairs, down goes to here. Um, so turning this way, when you first walk down the stairs, you'll see there's a little wall here. I keep my spinning wheel and my spinning fiber on that wall and some extra yarn on the ground there. Over here, um, I've shared the, this a lot. This is a pic, this is where I keep my yarn. It's um, basically just two bookshelves pushed together. The bottom little drawer is a filing cabinet. So one side we keep all of our files and the other side is just more yarn kind of stored away. I have my spinning wheel there on the bottom. And um, yep, that's where I keep my yarn. I try to organize it by weight, but it ends up kind of getting mixed up after a while. Um, but yeah, our basement is pretty clean right now. I just went through everything we're planning for a Christmas party. And so I figured this would be a great time to show everything off. So once we turn this way, um, over here, you can see this is kind of the opening to the space. I have a couch here that I will sometimes sit and work on. Over here on this wall is kind of like a craft area for my kids and my old business sign. And then on this side of the couch, um, we have a little tree up and that's where our fireplace is. We use that a lot as a family in the winter. Um, and above it, we have a little old TV that sometimes we'll watch like a holiday movie or just something fun, put the kids down here and put something on and have a fire going for them, which they all love. And then we turn this way. So this again is that couch, cozy place to sit. Um, I have a mirror up on the wall. Sometimes I'll take pictures with designs on in the mirror there. These lights hanging um, are not normally up. They're, they're up for our Christmas party, but they are super fun. And I'm thinking about keeping them up the whole year because they just make it a really cozy and fun space. So yeah, so there's the mirror, hello. And over here I have more, sorry, this is kind of tricky to hold and look at this direction, but I have more organization. Up on the wall there, I keep my knitting needles on a hook and just hang them up. It's quickest and easiest for me that way. I have um, a little dresser there with some hand knits in it. Um, lots of plants down here. This is one of my fiddly figs and some plants I keep on the windowsill. This area gets a lot of sun. 
Today it's actually pretty overcast, so it's not bright down here, but usually it gets a lot of sun here. And then coming this way, um, I have this table here. This is like my big workspace. It's an old kitchen island from Ikea. We got it years ago when we first got married. And so um, you'll see that little white hook kind of a thing over here, up in the corner there. You can see it in the window right over there. That is usually where I put my phone to record um, these videos, like the Knitting with Annie videos. And I'll sit at this desk, and this is where I keep my ball winder and my Swift for when I'm winding up yarn. So I'll sit here. The other side of it does have some storage. I'm still working on cleaning that out. Um, I usually use that for books, but I just moved them somewhere else. And then over here, we have this little red hutch. And this I use, I have some kind of sewing storage underneath, and that's my drum carter on top. And I use that for um, carting up fiber. If I get like fiber bats, I'll put them in there and drum them up, and then I can spin them from there. Um, so turning this way, more plants. Um, this is where we have like our kind of home gym area. Um, my husband uses the weights a lot. I only use the little ones like occasionally. That's more his area. Um, and then the bike we both use. Um, so yeah, so I'll kind of show you that. So this space is kind of nice for that. And then another plant, that's our uh, my bird of paradise there. And yep, I love my Peloton bike. And over here, so that doorway there just leads to our um, laundry room and we have some shelving. Um, it's like an extra kind of pantry area. And then over here, this is my wall that I do a lot of, um, sorry, it's disorienting holding this this way. Um, this is where I do some photo shoot kind of stuff. I will do um, my Today's Knit Outfits posts where I kind of style different outfits. Um, and I'll stand usually on this wall because it's the one kind of nice blank slate wall that we have. Um, and there's my mannequin that I use to put stuff on sometimes. Um, that's a tripod right there that I will put my phone in when I do my, um, just my self pictures of the um, styling outfits and stuff. I'll use that. Sometimes I'll use that for reels to kind of set up my space for reels. And then over here is kind of the wall in the center of everything. And here I keep, um, we have this really beautiful old hutch um, that we got um, years ago and I use that to keep knit samples in and my knitting books and like my tax and bookkeeping kind of information stuff goes in there too. Um, we have, I keep my printer over here and these are uh, more of these crate things that I use to store my sweaters in. I also have some more in that laundry room area I showed you in some of that shelving. I keep some overflow there as well. And how about I open up this and I can show you. I keep some of my bags. I hang on hooks right here, my knitting bags. They'll kind of hang there out of the way. So yeah, so this is like the inside of this hutch. I kind of have paperwork stuff up here. I keep my old past publications that I've been in. Um, and then we have just kind of shelves of knit samples folded, some more. And then I just moved all my um, my knitting library, my resource books, and my stitch dictionaries and all of that, I moved to here. It used to be on that kitchen island on the other side, but it was getting a little crazy there. So I think it's much neater here like this. And yeah, that's basically the whole space. So I'll kind of show you again from back here. Um, so that's that side again. We have a sliding door that leads to our front yard. So that's my whole workspace. Um, if I'm home and the kids are home and I'm needing to get work done, then I will come down here often. If my husband's like watching them or something, I'll um, come down here. Or I will, um, usually during the week, um, I honestly usually work upstairs a lot too. Like now that they're in school, I will um, just kind of do my work at the kitchen table a lot because I'm often like cooking and doing other things um, or on the couch upstairs. 
So yeah, that's like basically my whole space. It's kind of a weird shape. It's like an L shape down here. So yeah, I'm gonna hook this back into the holder where I normally put it and just chat for a couple more minutes before I go. So yeah, so you'll see this is kind of the normal setup you see behind me when I'm sitting for these videos. So I have my little stand there and I set it up here like this. And that's typically how I will do these videos. But yeah, I hope that you liked this little studio tour. Um, it's just my a nice little space that I have down here. Um, there's great lighting. We have these really beautiful windows. Um, it's, it's kind of like a half, like a walkout basement. So this back half here, like behind that wall, that's our, um, like our true basement area where my husband has a workroom that he keeps all of his tools in and we keep some storage back there and like our water tank and electric and all that kind of stuff is back there. Um, when we first moved into this house a couple years ago, um, we bought it and the floor, they had had like a mold and a moisture problem down here and the floor was carpeting before and so it was all ripped out and it was just cement. So we got these floors put in before we moved in. They're just hardwood floors. I think they're like engineered or something so it's safer for this level with the moisture and then we have like um, wood floors upstairs too that we got kind of redone before we moved in and we haven't really done any home improvements since then nothing big um so yeah so once um hopefully in the future we'll get some more things done but yeah this is my space and i'm glad that you joined me for this quick little tour today um for next year, um, I'm kind of thinking ahead and planning ahead uh, my work schedule and I'm kind of like going over my priorities and I've been in a weird space lately. I've talked a little bit um, before with you about um, just kind of, um, I don't know. I've, I think I've talked about like kind of like, like feeling bad about my work and in regard to other people, like the comparison trap, getting caught in that and um, going to events, sometimes you can kind of feel, it's kind of both sides, you get the fun of seeing friends and it can be really fun like going to Rybeck, but then on the other hand, it can feel kind of crummy sometimes because um, it, it can feel like the, in this industry, people are really, everyone's just trying to succeed and like be better, which, you know, is good, but I think there's a negative sometimes too of like just always striving to like achieve and achieve and achieve because um, you're ultimately comparing yourself to other people and how they're doing. And then you end up kind of feeling just crappy, you know, not enough, like you didn't do good enough. Um, so I'm kind of just like mulling over that stuff and thinking ahead to next year. Um, I, I do know that I'm going to slow down a bit with my designing. I'll still be designing a good bit and you probably won't even notice a difference. But um, like this year, what I did is I had three tech edits a month. So that kept me on schedule of doing basically around three releases a month. Sometimes it was four, sometimes two, I think, but basically about three a month. And since I design mostly sweaters, that's just a lot of knitting. Um, I'm usually not short on ideas. I have plenty of ideas but um, it can get, it's been getting a little overwhelming keeping up at that pace. And I realize the reason I've been working at that pace is just because I'm like, like I said, I'm always trying to just do better and like meet whatever this image of success is that I have in my mind of what it should be. And I don't know that that's very healthy for me at least. So I'm kind of just reorganizing my thoughts around what does success mean what do I want my business to look like? You know, um, I love knitting. I'm always going to knit. Um, and I'm always going to knit things that I want to knit. And so I'll probably always design. Um, but next year I'm going to go down to two tech edits a month. So it'll be just about probably two sweater, two patterns a month. Um, which again, you might not even notice the difference because I'm always putting stuff out. But to me, I think that'll give me more space to kind of slow down, um, just relax and not feel so frantic about like always putting new stuff out there. Um, so I think that that'll feel better. And I'm also just trying to think about ways that, like I said, like my priorities and 
defining what my priorities are and what success is to me and um, what do I want my business to look like going forward. Um, I have a few ideas and a few things I kind of want to change a little bit. Um, and once I gather my thoughts on that stuff, I will definitely be happy to share that with you. I will probably not be doing this once a week as I originally started and kind of planned to do. It's just too much with everything in our lives right now. Um, and I don't need one more thing that I'm like stressing to get done every week. Um, so that's going to be part of next year. Um, maybe I'll do the, I'll, I'll check in with these every so often. I still would love to answer questions um, and share some of my work and behind the scenes stuff, but it'll definitely be less than once a week. It'll probably be maybe once a month or so, I'm not sure, but um, I'll keep it going, but at a slower rate. I think I just, my whole life, I think I need to slow down and kind of re reprioritize things. So um, yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at. Thank you for joining me again today. And I hope you had fun kind of seeing a little closer up of the studio space. I'm sorry that it was like a little um, awkward and stuff holding the phone. I wasn't prepared for it, not like flipping around. So it was hard for me to see if it was um, a little choppy or weird, sorry about that. But um, yeah, thank you for being here. And I will check in with you all after the new year. Hopefully by then I'll have my thoughts and straight and I'll have some uh, kind of plans for next year to share with you and um, is there anything else I think that's it this sweater is um, my boho embroidered uh, wreath sweater and I'll show you it up close first you knit the sweater top down and then I walk you through a tutorial of how to do these different um, stitch patterns and these are the same motifs that I use on the stocking pattern as well. And I can link those both below. Um, so yeah, so happy holidays to those who are celebrating this season. And I wish you all um, health and joyful times with your family and friends and safety. Um, and I will be back in the new year to share more. Thanks. Bye.